Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today I'm here in New Britain Borough, Pennsylvania. We are going to do another amazing multi species fishing session. So I'm going to start my fishing today here at the Pine Run Creek. I'm also going to be fishing the little unnamed pond here that is right next to this creek and also the Pine Run Reservoir. You know, I've been here many times before. If you guys watch my videos here on the YouTube channel, you know that this is the place where I did my most recent mystery tackle box, panfish unboxing plus slam, right? And uh, you know, although every time I come here and I catch all different species of fish, you know, I am not truly really convinced yet that I have caught everything that is here, which is why I'm back here one more time, okay? We are going to try to catch as many different species as possible today. And let's make this video interactive! So, how many species of fish do you think I will be able to catch today? Hmm, I'm gonna leave a poll above, make sure you know you participate. And good news, if I am able to catch at least 10 species of fish today from this place, I am going to do a giveaway on this video, how about that? Even I don't know the outcome, so I can't make any promises, but I will try my best to accomplish that, all right? So let's get the fishing started! As always, let me take a little bit of your time to go over the conditions of the day and the setup for today. As for conditions, it is finally getting a little bit chilly here in the Philadelphia area. We got a max of 50 to 55 degrees for the past couple days so water temperature should be really in the range of 50 to 60 degrees I would say probably very likely 50 to 55 we still got a lot of leaves on top of the water I mean it is fall season you know not the best time of the year to use an inline spinner when it comes to the setup I'm rocking haha my medium light setup today not my ultra light I got the St. Croix Avid Pearl 66 medium light two piece together with my casking Sharky 2 1500 I'm using casking floral coat a pound test line and I'm starting the day with just one small 164 ounce trout magnet jig head with a little aero tackle Aero grub. I'm going to be changing baits and lures throughout the day. I'm going to try my best to catch fish that are a little bit on the bigger size. That's why I have my medium light with me instead of my ultra light. So let's get this started and hopefully I'll catch 10 more than 10 species of fish so you can have your giveaway. Let's do it. Fish on first fish of the day first species of the day my freaking goodness is this a little largemouth bass is this a little spotted bass what exactly is this thing huh it is micro that's for sure inhale that little euro grub i will double check i will let you guys know in a second this fish is actually too small to determine you know so i would just take it as a largemouth bass I really have no clue, you know, what, what it is. So, largemouth bass it is for now. First species of the day, very small. Uh, water is very shallow compared to the last time I was here. So, I know for sure it is going to be a tough, tough day if I use lures. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to switch to live bait. Nightcrawler on a small hook. Let's do that. Oh man, I hate to forage, but this is what you gotta do when your night crawlers die. When night crawlers die, all you need to do is find uh, new night crawlers, right? There we go, we got a chubby one right here. one chubby worm so yeah guys I have bad news bad news is my night crawlers died so since my night crawlers died I have to forage for night crawlers now to use live bait so you know, I guess we're gonna devote 10 minutes of my lifetime here to actually try finding some live night crawlers let's do that come on there's gotta be there's gotta be something 
under this piece of wood. It's gotta be something under here. If I can just flip it, that would be great. Oh yeah. No Nycra. Oh yeah, chubby one right here. Come out here, Freddy. Come play with me. Got a nice little night crawler here, that's for sure. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good bait right there, fellas. This time of the year, you know, you wanna find night crawlers? This is what you do. You just keep flipping the woods and the rocks here below the leaves, you know. Definitely good environment for a night crawler. Always gotta be careful when flipping the stuff, of course. So, you know, you don't get any of those bugs who can actually hurt you really bad. Fish on. Second species of the day right here. What we got here from the... Yeah, you see, this is what I'm talking about. This is a species I never caught here before. Check this out. Isn't this a golden shiner? A golden shiner, fellas, on the night crawler. Notemigonus chrysoleuca, perfect bait for catfish too. You know what that means, right? I'm sorry, Golden Shiner. You're bait now. Oh, we got a bite there. Fish on. Nothing beats the traditional. Oh, check this out. Even a bigger Golden Shiner. But guess what? We already got a Golden Shiner, so I don't need this extra one. I need only one as beige, so we can let this one go. But check this out, man. This is a bigger Golden Shiner. Very shiny fella. Body shape, very important in identifying a Golden Shiner. You see the color here on the fins? That's another indicator, all right? Beautiful fish. Uh, I already got beige, so I don't need this guy. We're just gonna let him go. Golden Shiner are very sensitive. So if you're not going to take them home, you know, make sure you release them right away. Oh yeah, there we go, fish on. What we got? Oh, third species of the day. It seems that that giveaway is going to happen, fellas. I mean, you know, a red breast sunfish. There we go. Oh, we've been catching this one here too often recently. Let's just release this guy. Well, well, well little red breast thought that he would be able to eat my night crawler and go back and sketch that he go ahead fella man he doesn't want to go what go ahead fella go 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 ahead go ahead oh man maybe he really liked the warmth of my hand I hope you guys understand why I was saying that the jigs wouldn't work here today, at this spot at least, you know. That's because the fish are really, really lethargic, you know. Uh, what is this? A red breast sunfish. The fish are really, really lethargic. The water temperature is getting colder now. You jig that fake stuff right in front of them, right? And they look at it, they may not have enough time to hit it, you know. That's why you need the live bait. You put the live bait down there. Oh, the other way, fish. The other way. Yeah, you put the live bait down there. And you know, they have a little bit of more of time to react and go get your stuff. So that is the approach for today. Plus, nothing beats, come on, nothing beats a little night crawler under a float. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Traditional fishing right here. Come on, fish. Come on, local produce, no importation, yeah! Directly from the, what do we got here? What is this? Why does this look so weird? That's why, it's because it's another species for the day, fellas! We got species number four, the green sunfish, Lepomis cyanellus, little chunky one too, beautiful! Alright, let's, let's take a photo. Oh boy, you know, they just can't resist this uh, organic, non-GMO, healthy, local <laughs> earthworm that I dug out of the ground just a few steps from here, you know? This fish can't resist it. Why you always go under the rock? It's the other way. Well, he's gonna be fine. He's under this rock, but he's gonna be okay. Look you on the hybrid. Look at the top species number five. 
the hybrid because only here there should be hybrids there we go <laughs> just to add to the species check this out eh? i just knew it in this little pond here just gonna have a huge population of bluegill no doubt you know i don't know exactly how they survive over here since this place is so shallow you know and freezes over during the winter but hey there goes species number five for today there we go species number five of the day little bluegill now let's see if we can i can get a hybrid or not fish on whoa it feels nice what in the world it feels really nice what is this holy moly jesus christ out of this little pond what is this it feels too nice what is that what is the holy jesus Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Holy Jesus! This is the biggest golden shiner I ever caught in my life. Dude, this is my PB golden shiner right here. I don't know how, what, what, what is the state record for Pennsylvania, but I'm definitely measuring this golden shiner. Holy cow! Let's measure it, let's measure it. You know, not a lot of fish nowadays give me this adrenaline rush, you know, when it comes to a smaller species. But I gotta tell you this much, this fish right here, this golden shiner that I have in my hands, folks, this could be a record, man. I don't know, I don't know what the record is, but let's see how big this golden shiner is. Ah, uh, far away from a record. It's only 0.52 pounds. So half a, half a pound golden shiner, all right? My best yet, half a pound golden shiner. I mean, come on, we, we gotta give credit to this beast, all right? We gotta give credit to this beast. Oh my God, let me try to release this guy as nice as possible here, you know. This is my new PB for Golden Shiner for sure. This is a, this is a monster Shiner, man. I have caught many Golden Shiner before. This is a monster Shiner, man. Crazy. Fishon. What, what what in the world? These fish are fighting hard, man. What? 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 <laughs> what? Well, apparently, this is smaller than the last one. But apparently, you know, the population of Golden Shiner in this little pond, you know, is not too small, you know? What the heck? This is smaller than the last one, but it's still a beautiful Golden Shiner. And dude, they fight great. What in the world, man? Fish on what we got here. Yet another species for the day. Took my night crawler too. What? This is a black crappie. Check this out. Small black crappie Pomoxis nigromaculatus, species number six of the day. Beautiful. Ah, <sighs> there we go, little black crappie. You are free to go. It's still in a little bit of shock, I'm assuming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy, take it easy, crappy. Why are they all so small over here? Stunted population of crappy. Another black crappy here. Bye bye. Gotcha. Oh, the crappie are biting good on the night crawler, that's for sure. Oh, we got another species for today. A white crappie, the Pomoxis anulatis. Close cousin of the black crappie. You guys can see through the vertical bars. The body is more elongated. Beautiful sample we got right here. We are at seven different species of fish. Will we be able to hit 10? Whoa, <laughs> I don't know. Well, we will find out. Wow. Not bad, not bad. What we got here? Oh, yet another species for the day. The white perch. The Moroni Americana. And it's a beauty too, this one. Check this out. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful sample we got right here. Huh? Bigger than the ones we caught here previously which is great, 
All right. I mean, it is called the white perch for a reason, you know. This perch is really, really white. Hey, give me back my nightcrawler. It's useful. Really, really white perch right here. Check this out, huh? Beautiful sample. Beautiful, beautiful, very beautiful fish. As I like to emphasize. Yeah, you're free. Go. What are you doing? Go, go. You gonna be all right, buddy? Yeah, he gonna be all right. He gonna be all right. Yeah, he gonna be all right. What is that? Oh, that's what's going on. It's a big white perch. Not kidding. I was so silent because I thought, you know, another bluegill, but these white perch are pretty healthy, you know, pretty healthy. Man, took my whole night crawler too, huh? You want to be like that, huh? All right, go. I don't know, that does look, that looks like a bite. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. Fish on. On the cut bait. Fish on on the cut bait. That was a bite. I knew it. The moment I saw it, I knew it was a bite. Now, this wind, not easy, but this is, my, this is going to be the first catfish ever that I have caught here at this reservoir. What is that? A bowhead. It's a bowhead catfish, son. Wow, it's a fat one too. Holy moly, Jesus. It's a fat yellow bowhead. Check this out. This is the first yellow bowhead that I have caught in a long time, all right? Long time. You know it's a yellow bowhead because the whiskers, right, below its mouth are entirely white. The shape of the mouth is very round. And you definitely don't want to put your hand in its mouth because man is gonna hurt check this out a yellow bowhead ameurus nat natalis no ameurus nebulosus is the brown bowhead ameurus yeah i think it's not Ame ameurus natalis yeah the yellow bowhead all right let's take a photo and release this guy all right time to let this fella go it is very shallow right here so i'll try my best to well, never mind. Can you find your way, fella? Do you need some help here? It's very shallow, you see, and I don't... Uh, let me let me flip him the right way. That way, that way. No! That way! That way! Yes! You got it! Go! Go! The sea is calling you, my friend! That way! The reservoir is calling you! Yeah, he got it! He got it! He got it. Check that out. Huh? What a beauty, man. Yellow bowhead. Go back to where you belong. All right. Species number... What, what, what number was that species? Let me double check. I don't even know. Was that a species number eight or number nine? Let me check here. I have a quick memo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was the species number nine, fellas. Only one more for our giveaway. Let's do it. Quick update, it is just a little bit windy out here, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm still here at the Pine Run Reservoir. We're doing some good old catfishing, old style, but instead of three rods, I only have one rod. I have a one rod there with about, I forgot, I think it's a one and a half or one ounce sinker on it, all right? Everything's gonna be in the description of the video using cut pieces of the golden shiner that we caught earlier today so the golden shiner is working really well we got two yellow bowheads so far i mean you natalis let's see if we can hit any species you know who knows maybe a little channel catfish out of this place maybe a little brown bowhead i don't know maybe an american eel yeah i don't know you know i mean you put a piece of cut bait on you never know what you're gonna catch right so stay tuned hopefully we'll catch some more fish check this out oh my god this is a freshwater clam that is alive 
I don't know if you guys saw it or not. It was just sticking out the, his stuff. Whatever the stuff is called, the clam itself. This is crazy. Check this out, huh? Little clam right here. He's sticking its tongue out for God knows what, huh? What are you doing, huh, little clam? What are you doing, huh? I closed up again. Well, all right, clam. I'm gonna do you a favor, all right? I'm gonna throw you out there because when the water dries here, you know, all of you and your friends are going to die. There was another clam right here. Look at this one here. Oh, yeah, just spit some water. Man, you crazy. Go back there. There's another one right here, too. Is this one alive? Maybe so. Oh, yeah, it is alive. Just spit some water, too. Just closed up. Go there, all right? This is going to all dry, dry up later, you know. All these clams are going to die, man. But you see, right? This is what the catfish eat around here. Is this one dead already? Yeah, hopefully not. Go there. So yeah, you know, this is what the catfish eat around this area. You know, they eat this, these gigantic clams because, you know, and snails. Because sadly, there's nothing else to eat around here for the catfish. Oh boy, gotta fish a little bit more. If nothing happens, call it a day. It is, uh, if it is a bullhead, it should have swallowed it a while ago, you know. Fish on. Oh yeah. This is the thing about bowheads, you know. Bowheads is swallow your stuff real quick. You know? So if you see a bite and it doesn't move for a little while, chances are you got a bowhead catfish on. Yeah. Healthy bowhead from the little hole that I found here at the reservoir. Let's see, is it a new species? Is it a new species? No, it's a yellow bowhead. So folks, we're still a nine species today. This is another yellow bowhead. Beautiful sample, all right? Entirely, yeah, yellow. Barbels are all white. Inhaled the cut bait. I'll have to take it out with pliers. I can see it, so you know, it won't be that much of a problem. But there we go. Beautiful, beautiful sample. Wow, authentic yellow bowhead. You know, the thing is, nobody ever fishes this place for catfish. So I guess these bowl heads right here, they're really not pressured, you know? No, come on. Your sense of direction is dull, bowl head is the other way. Yes, the other way. No, there's a stone in front of you. The other way, yeah. You got that right, go, go, go. Man, <laughs> the shallowness of the reservoir, Definitely does not help, but there you go. One happy bowhead going back where it belongs. This golden shiner is working great, fellas. Let's keep catching them. All right, fellas, we were very close of hitting 10 species of fish, but that is, I run out of time. You know, it's time for me to go. I gotta do some stuff for the rest of the day. It was an odd day today, wasn't it? I mean, <laughs> you know, we didn't catch a lot of different species of fish from the Pine Run Creek. My night crawlers were bad. Then we went to that little pond and we caught a freaking state record class golden shiner. And finally I came here to the reservoir and I caught my first two ever yellow bowhead. I mean, I've caught a yellow bowhead before, but these were my first two ever from this reservoir. Overall, you know, I think it was a very productive day. Don't worry about the giveaway stuff, okay, folks? If I don't do it in this video, it will eventually come in a future video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. As always, it is chilly out here. It is windy, man. When this wind blows on my face, it really feels like it's going through my bones. I, I, I'm pretty sure you know that feeling if you have fished in the cold before. And, I, and I'm bundled up, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, it is time to go. I need to go catch my train, do some other stuff for the rest of the day. Fellas, thank you very much for all of your support here on the channel. And new videos are going to keep coming here on the channel throughout end of fall and winter as well. All right. Tie lines, fellas. And until next video.